Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So as you can see for today's video, I am going to be bringing y'all along for dinner tonight. Just a little rundown on what's going on. I am going to be making dinner for my parents tonight. Um, today is my son, my older son's birthday. He turned seven today and um, we're not doing a big thing today. Today is Friday, he went to school. I bought him a birthday breakfast. He got McDonald's after school. His teacher gave him a gift card for McDonald's. I got him McDonald's and that's what he wanted for his birthday. Like y'all know my son is autistic. He is very precise on what he eats and he doesn't like to change things up. So McDonald's is his absolute favorite treat. I treat him every Friday to that. And it just so happened today was his birthday. So that's what he wanted. So I got him McDonald's after school and my parents are on their way from out of town from San Antonio. Y'all know my parents live in San Antonio. They are three hours away. They're already on their way, but they're not gonna get here till like eight o'clock. It's Friday, they had to work. And we're just gonna like sing my son happy birthday tonight. I'm gonna order pizza for the kids because me and my parents do keto. So I'm gonna order a separate pizza for the kids. They want pizza. And um, they're gonna have cupcakes and ice cream and junk food. They're normal kids, they do not do keto. So that's what they're having. But since my parents do keto and they're coming, I'm gonna go ahead and make a separate dinner for us. Um, I'm gonna be making pizza. It's gonna be very simple. Y'all probably seen me make it before, but if you haven't, we are going to be making keto pizza. Pizza is my absolute, my dad's absolute favorite thing to eat. Like if you ask him, hey, what do you want for dinner? It's going to be pizza. So I'm gonna be making a keto pizza. Y'all know I'm doing dairy free. I'm not eating that, but I'm gonna be making it for my parents. And then I'm gonna make a side salad. I'm gonna be eating the salad because I'm gonna make like a chicken salad. So I'm gonna be eating that. And then my dad wants boneless keto wings. To be honest, I've never made them before. So this is gonna be like a trial run, of course, on the day, the, the day of, right? He wants boneless keto wings. I've never made them before. I don't know why I know how to make them. I just never made them because I always just get regular wings. So we're gonna make that and then I'm gonna make a dessert because I know my parents, they love sweets especially my dad, and I don't want him to feel tempted to eat a cupcake. So I'm gonna go ahead and make him a small dessert on the side too. We're about to get started on that. So today is just gonna be a very simple day with my son since it, it was during the week. Um, and then tomorrow we are taking him out. We're gonna be really celebrating tomorrow. We're gonna take him to this big arcade place that has tons of games because y'all know my son loves games. So he loves like anything games. So that's what he wants to go do tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going there. But today, let's go ahead and make a keto dinner. We're about to get started here in a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and start on a dessert. I'm gonna be making some keto cheesecake bites. I do have a video on that. I just thought it'd be very simple to make today. And I wanna start on it right now because I wanna put them in the fridge to cool. So look, I set up just like a little area for my son. Excuse the lights. These are just like lights that I use. I have to move them. But I set up a little area for him, nothing crazy. So when he got home from school, he was so excited. So we're gonna see him happy birthday over here. He has his gifts, his grandma's bringing him gifts. So since it's just the kids, it's gonna be my little sister and the boys, cause um, not, there's not gonna be much kids. So we don't eat this, so I just got him cupcakes. I, don't, I didn't wanna get a huge cake and it go to waste, and he really wanted Sonic, he loves Sonic. So these are so cute. I got these made, they smell so delicious. Very like basic buttercream, vanilla, Sonic characters, he loved it. So we're gonna be doing this later on. My parents get here, they're gonna be here around eight o'clock tonight, and we're just gonna have a good time. So let's go ahead and get started on dessert. All right, you guys, so I'm making the, I'm getting started on the mini cheesecakes. Um, the video will pop up at the end of this video if y'all wanna check out like the full recipe, if y'all wanna save it. So I brought out the ingredients for the crust. So I have two tablespoons of butter right here. I'm not eating these. These are not dairy free, of course. It's made of cream cheese. So this only makes like six um, cheesecakes, like six cupcake cheesecakes. And that's perfect for them, you know, for just for the weekend. They're only gonna be here for the weekend. And um, if you want more, you could just double the ingredients. But I'm gonna go ahead and melt this down. I 
got a little bowl right here. I'm just gonna add this in and melt it in the microwave really quickly. I love that my microwave has like a melt butter button so it doesn't pop anywhere. I love it. Yes, baby. You wanna say hi? Say hi. Hey. There's Bash. Bash has been waiting for cake all day and ice cream, right baby? It's Brando's birthday. That boy is always in the fridge. He stays in the fridge looking for snacks. Look what at him. That? Oh, it's chocolate milk from McDonald's. That's yours. You can have it. Hey. Yeah. Okay, we got our melted butter. Let me move y'all this way. We got our melted butter in my bowl. Now, this is going to be like an almond flour crust base. It's so good. We're going to go in with one fourth cup of almond flour. We're going to add it to our butter. We're going to go ahead and add a dash of salt. And then, of course, we have to sweeten this up. You could use like whatever kind of sugar replacement, keto sugar replacement that you like. I'm using pure sweetener. This is my favorite one. Or you could use Swerve. You're just going to add very little, like a teaspoon or so, just to sweeten up the crust. We're going to add more sweetener to the cheesecake itself. And then we're just going to give this a good mix. And this is going to be our crust. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out my cupcake um, muffin tin or the cupcake tin. Yeah, and the liners. <laughs> okay, so I have like my cupcake tin right here. I have these silicone liners. Yeah, guys, if y'all don't have silicone cupcake liners, y'all need to get some. I'll link them below. Literally, everything pops out of here without sticking. I love silicone to bake with. Okay, so we're going to like evenly divide this mix, the crust. It's not a lot. You just put very little at the bottom, just like a little scoop on each one. Does anybody else get nervous when their parents come to town? Like I have been cleaning, like even though my house is like, it's never really like dirty, just like the everyday usual things. But I always go on like a cleaning spree when my parents are coming. So I have been cleaning all morning. <laughs> I have been like paranoid. Oh my god. It's funny. Even though they don't care. I just get so like, oh my god I just got to clean everything The house got to be in tip-top shape. Okay, so you just take it and we're just gonna like push down the crust Just evenly spread it out at the bottom And we'll have ourselves a nice little crust and after this we're gonna go ahead and make the filling it's gonna be so good hopefully they enjoy it these are really good though and they're so easy to make like and you can just like I like these when I first started keto um and especially my husband like this is my husband's favorite dessert to keep in, in the fridge so like you can keep these in the fridge throughout the week when you're first starting out on your journey and y'all get like those cravings or anytime but usually when you're first starting out on your journey you get like cravings for something sweet so these are awesome just to keep in the fridge throughout the week and you can prep them ahead of time and then you just grab it for dinner when you just want something sweet so they're really good you could top them with berries and whipped cream amazing okay so these are the way it looks we're gonna go ahead and start making the filling let me bring out my bowl and my mixer Y'all say hi. 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 Say happy birthday, Brando. Happy birthday, Brando. There's a birthday boy. How old are you, baby? Me. Say seven. There you go. Seven. Say I'm seven. seven. <laughs> yeah, the balloons. Blow it up. Can you do it? Oh, you just got nothing but spit in there. <laughs> Yes, it's your birthday. You want to show them what you got? Yeah, yeah when Grandma gets here, we're going to sing happy birthday. Yeah. Show them your cupcakes. Ooh. Are you ready to open presents later? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started on the cheesecake filling. So right here, I have one 8-ounce block of softened cream cheese. Look what I have, guys. So my husband bought me this. Um, it's a cordless hand mixer. I haven't used it yet. I was so excited because I hate the hand mixtures with the wire. It gets in the way. It's a little on the pricey side, but I think it's well worth it. They have different colors. And all you do is just charge it. So whenever, you know, it's going dead. Where is the charger port? Okay, so there's like a little charger port right there. And it is just so pretty. I absolutely love it. I'll link it below, like if you are interested in it. But yeah, we're going to use this for the first time. It's very powerful the last time I turned it on. And I absolutely love it. So we're going to go ahead and do this. 
So we're just gonna mix up our cream cheese and you wanna soften just so it's easier to mix. So it shouldn't take very long. And you see how quiet it is? My other one was so loud. <laughs> okay, we got it nice and mixed up. And right here, it'll tell you like if the battery is dying. So it'll stay green or it'll be red. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and crack in one large egg and we're gonna mix in our egg as well. Mix this up until it's well combined. quiet I love it and it mixes so well okay we're gonna sweeten this up we're going in with one fourth cup of sweetener as well I'm gonna go in with a little vanilla this is vanilla bean paste it's so good it's more expensive than regular vanilla but a little bit goes a long way I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit in there Oh, these are going to taste so good. I love the way this stuff smells. Okay, let's mix it. Okay, so it should be nice and creamy at this point. We're going to go in with a little bit of ste uh, liquid stevia drops. I already ran out of this. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut half a lemon. We're gonna put um, the juice of half a lemon. My husband loves when I put lemon in these. I just put half, you don't want too much because then it'll be like overwhelming. Mix it up. And that's it guys, that's all we're putting in this. Let's go ahead and divide it into our what are the crust okay let's go ahead and divide this so all you're doing is dividing it evenly into each cupcake tin just gonna pour it over just try not to fill it up too much because these will rise a little bit when they are baking oh my god that vanilla bean paste smells so good i wish it wasn't so expensive though <laughs> It's like really expensive. Okay, I should have preheated my oven earlier, but I forgot. So we're preheating our oven to 375 degrees. Okay, we're about to pop these in the oven. I was over there with my son right now. My, my husband just bought him like V bucks off of Fortnite for one of his gifts. You know how kids are. Okay, we're gonna put these in the oven until they're nice and browned on top and cook through. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna like prepare the salads too. I might as well. Um, I think I'm gonna make mine in a separate bowl because I'm still doing dairy free and I wanted to put like Parmesan cheese in my parents because they don't do dairy free. Um, so I'm probably gonna make two separate ones so I can have one and they can have one. So I got two bags of premium romaine salad and then I kind of cheated. <laughs> I got these um I mean it's not technically cheating it's smart right I got these Tyson grilled and ready oven roasted diced chicken breast so I can add these in there so we're just gonna like warm them up and add them to our salad so we don't have to like cook uh like whole chicken breast or something so those are nice um you can definitely have those for like quick lunches and make that Throughout your journey, I love to have like frozen bag chicken on hand and then oh I also got I forgot okay so i wanted salad toppings so i can't have like crunchy cheese or anything so i went ahead and bought this bag of flavored bacon bits because i love bacon bits and then i got some roasted and salted sunflower seeds just to add like a little crunch to the salad you can find these in like the salad section where all the ranches are they usually have toppings y'all know how so they have like those cranberries and all that but those aren't keto the sunflowers are they even had like some like almonds i think it was some almonds almonds i call them almonds okay where is my dressing guys i'm losing everything so i got an oh here it is i got a new dressing that i wanted to go ahead and try so i was trying to look for a dairy free caesar dressing i could not find one for the life of me so i went ahead and picked up this poppy seed one hopefully it's good i've never tried it before this is by skinny girl um i heard good things about it so or like their brand 
It's by Skinny Girl, fat-free, sugar-free dressing, and this is the poppy seed flavor. There's no dairy in here. Um, two net carbs per serving, serving size, two tablespoons, 10 calories. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a try. My parents, my dad would probably just um, have like regular ranch. He like does keto, but he's not like strict like I am. And yeah, I bought some like Parmesan to add in here. I got some shaved Parmesan to add to their salad, not mine. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and keep it separate. Um, what else did I get for the salad? Oh, I was going to add like some cucumbers to mine because I love cucumbers. And I got some um, cherry tomatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those and we're just going to whip it up real quick. Okay, so instead of just making two separate salads, guys, I'm just going to make one. I'm going to go ahead and just let my parents top off their salad with Parmesan cheese if that's what they want to do. So I got a big bowl right here and I love these bowls. I got these on Amazon too. I'll link them below for y'all. Um, and they come with lids. I love them. So we can go ahead and put it in the fridge. So we're going to go ahead and open up our salad. Guys, I have not been hungry for the life of me. I didn't eat yesterday. I literally ate like a stick of jerky and that was it. Um, I don't know. I just haven't been hungry, but I need to eat today. I actually haven't ate today and it's already six o'clock and I haven't ate today. I just have not been hungry, but I need to eat. It's not good to not eat. Um, I don't know why I haven't been hungry. I just haven't. Usually I am pretty hungry. Okay, so I got all my lettuce right here. Um, oh, I think I'm going to add a little bit of avocado. I forgot. We need to go ahead and warm this chicken up. So I think I'm just going to throw it in my air fryer oven just to heat it through really quickly. Okay, so this is like the whole bag of chicken. And I mean, it's cooked, so I'm just going to heat it through. Uh... Should we put air fry? We'll air fry the chicken. It should take 10 minutes. Okay, while um, my chicken is heating through, I'm just gonna chop up this cucumber. Just very simple. I usually cut it in fours. Dice it up. I'm so excited for my parents to get here. I haven't seen them in a little bit. So I'm excited to spend some time with them this weekend. And I love cooking for them. I rarely get to cook for them only because like when we go visit, we're usually like on the go and doing stuff. So, or usually my mom is cooking and we don't really get to cook for them. Okay, we got our cucumber in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dice up tomatoes, these cherry tomatoes. I'm just going to split them in half just so they're not like all big in there. Yes. Yes. Okay. You want to tell him what you got? Yeah. Brando wants to show you what he got for his birthday. One of his gifts. What did you get, Brando? Oh my God. There's so many characters he got. Are you excited? Yeah. I like them. Oh, are those hawk hands? Yeah. Well. Bunny. Whoa, the bunny? Wow. <laughs> That's cool. You like it, baby? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. You ready for your other presents, too? Wow. wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's all jumping. <laughs> Look how red he is just from here jumping in the room the whole time. <laughs> oh, can you do that dance? Can you do it? Well, Show me the dance. Well, okay. He has a spaceship. UFO. Okay, let me finish up these tomatoes. So I'm simply just cutting them in half and then we're gonna go ahead and add them in here. Okay, I chopped up my tomatoes in here. I know y'all are probably thinking, dang, that's a lot of salad. Guys, I want leftovers. I love salad. I'm not gonna put the dressing in here. We're gonna put it on separate so it doesn't get soggy. But I do want leftover salad for like tomorrow or something because I love salad. So that's why I made it extra. But I put the whole bag of chicken. I did season it with some salt and pepper just so give it a little bit of flavor. Um, so it's just not plain chicken. I'm gonna let it cool down. We're gonna add it to the salad. I'm gonna go ahead and add in these flavored baking bits and the sunflower seeds. I'm so ready for the salad. And this is like the main thing that I'm eating tonight because I'm not eating pizza, so I could like chow down on this salad for real. I don't know if to put the whole bag of sunflower seeds or just very little. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit right now and we'll mix it in and see if I need more. 
I'm gonna add in my bacon. I love me some crunchy bacon bits. I think I'm gonna leave the avocado out, especially because I want this for like tomorrow and I feel like it'll get ugly. But if you want some um, avocado, you can go ahead and add that in here too. Okay, we're just gonna toss everything. Oh, it looks so good already. I love salad. I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop the chicken in here. And we're gonna give this a good toss again. Oh, I tried a piece of chicken right now, it's really good. Those are great to have on hand. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more sunflower seeds and then we're good. A little bit more bacon. Just because it's a big salad. All right, the salad is ready. We're gonna put the lid on this and put it in the fridge. Okay, I'm just waiting on the cheesecakes. You guys, look at my living room. I'm not completely done decorating, but I have my Halloween decorations up. We got, there's Bashi. We got our, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. We got our little Hocus Pocus corner with the three um, witches and then the book, our little eye book right there. I have my pretty vase that I got that y'all had saw from Marshalls. I put some flowers in it. It's just like a little Halloween vase. His Halloween Mickey Mouse, there you go baby, her pillow. So it's coming along, we got some candy. I love it, it's looking good. The cheesecakes are almost ready. You see how they're setting on top, but you want like a nice brown on top. So a couple more minutes. Okay, so for the cheesecakes, I'm also making a strawberry like glaze topping. You could just like chop up strawberries or blueberries, or red raspberries and put them on top of like a can whipped cream. But I'm gonna go ahead and just make like a strawberry glaze usually I like to do. So I have some cut up strawberries in my pan. We're gonna go ahead and turn the heat on and we're gonna add in a tablespoon of our sweetener. And what you're gonna do is like let these deglaze and they're gonna like, we're gonna smash them down and make a good sauce. It's gonna be really good. And all the juice is gonna come from the strawberries. Okay, my cheesecakes are out the oven. We're gonna let them cool. You see how the top is nice and brown? That's the way you want it while we're still making um, our so our strawberry sauce. So you see how it's like reducing? You wanna like smash them up as you go too, but keep on mixing, make sure nothing burns and they'll be easier to smash. Okay, so like I'm like prepping the boneless wings. So I have three, I'm not gonna make so many cause we're gonna have salad and they're gonna have pizza. So I'm pretty sure they're not gonna eat all this, but this is three chicken breasts. I just diced them into like little chunks. Then over here, we're making the coating. So to my blender, I went ahead and grinded up one bag of original chicharrones. This is going to be our coating. I mixed in about three tablespoons of almond flour. So it's gonna be like a chicharron almond flour coating, just a mix. I seasoned it with garlic powder. And then I also did put a little bit of this Parmesan cheese in it. And that's gonna be the coating. Okay, so while I was doing that, my strawberries are done. I like to leave them kind of chunky, but you could see that it reduced. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and I'm gonna let it cool for just a couple minutes before we add it on top of the cheesecakes. All right guys, my in-laws are actually about to be here. I didn't know they were coming right now. I didn't know if they were gonna come after all. They just wanted to stop by really quickly and say hi to Brando and give him his gifts. So I'm gonna talk to them really quickly. But while they get here, I'm gonna go ahead. I put the cheesecakes on a plate. I'm gonna put them in the fridge. I'm gonna put this, I'm spooning an even full on each of them and we're gonna pop them in the fridge. And this is what they look like. You want them really cold, so at least leave them in the fridge for about an hour or so and they should be ready to go. Okay, so what I'm doing, I put the mixture onto a plate. I have two eggs right here scrambled. I'm gonna dip my chicken into the egg mixture, then coat it with the um, pork rinds and put it on my air fryer basket. All right guys, it's a little loud in the house, but I made the buffalo wings in the air fryer. So I coated them like I showed you and then I put air fried chicken and I air, air fried them for like 20 minutes. I'm gonna leave them right here to keep warm and we're gonna make the sauce. I also have the fat head dough in the oven. So I, I baked this first to preheat. I'll link it in the cards um, for the fat head dough if y'all wanna know the recipe. And then once I pre-bake uh, pre it, we're gonna top it with the pizza toppings. Okay, so the, the fat head dough is like nice and brown. I'm gonna start topping it. So my dad, on his pizza, he wanted some, I'm going in with Rayo's homemade pizza sauce. This is a low sugar, low carb sauce. They wanted some jalapenos and some mushrooms. Oh, and the pepperonis and cheese. 
I am going in with some sliced fresh mozzarella and then these are the, pe the pepperonis I'm using. Okay guys, I got the pizza prepared. I put mozzarella, I cr crumbled it up, I put the sauce, I put pepperonis, the jalapenos, the mushrooms, and then more cheese on top. And then you just put it back in the oven at the same degrees until everything is melted. My parents are here. Look at my in-laws. <laughs> She's nervous to be on camera all the time. I'm gonna go outside with them. My dad is here. It's loud in the house. Say hi, mom. Hi. Oh my gosh. There's my mother-in-law. <laughs> I gotta pick on her. Bye, all my it. kids are here. Bye. Say hi, Oppie. Happy birthday, Brando. You are seven, I know. Wait, he's seven. He's seven. He's seven. Yep. Hi. Seven. There's Joe. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma got you. Grandma got you. There you go. Guys, all the dogs are loud. This is real life. They bark at everything. Bella, Bella barks at everything. And guess what yeah. else I made you? Since you don't have to give in to the cupcakes. Well, 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 Hopefully well. you like cheesecake. But I made oh. cupcake. I mean, wait, they're on a plate. Yeah, there you go. Oh, With I strawberry love you. on top. <laughs> My dad's sister got me this cup. It's a little Ray Dunn one. It says girl boss. It's oh, your cute. auntie. My auntie. Susan. Susan. There you go. Sorry. It's so cute. They don't know Susan if I say Susan. Well, you know who it is. <laughs> We're gonna open up Brando's gifts before we eat because he has been waiting all day. Grandpa's! Grandpa's! Brando's ready to open his gifts. Like, if you go to Louisiana and they're like, you know. Brando is ready. Go, Brando. Open your gifts. Here is the pizza. It's nice and cooked. That's for my dad. We're gonna let it cool down. 
Are you ready to dig in? I am. That's all mine, right? Yeah, you and mom. Oh god, I'm not eating that. <laughs> That's all mine. Let me see your let me see your present. Ooh, I like it. You got the mask? Ooh. <laughs> Dad said he's ready to dig into the pizza. I told him let it cool. He said no. <laughs> nope. I'm still warming up the buffalo sauce. Not gonna leave mom none. She already got oh, did she get some of the other one or no? No, I don't think so. Oh. That's why I added jalapenos because she said she wanted jalapenos. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't eat it. I'm doing dairy free. I'll just oh, watch you. Oh, too bad. <laughs> I made a good salad though with chicken. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I kept the parmesan separate so y'all can just add it if y'all like. Look, look who's waiting for some. Say hi, Lincoln Lake. Hi. She's like, what y'all eating over here? Now he's far too I already opened his I hate opening toys. Oh, yeah. You already opened it. Oh, look at him. With so many. Look at him. He's like, oh, good. What are you eating, Nana? So where's this keto pizza? Dad's cutting it. You want some? Oh, yeah. You like, you like the pizza, it. too. I forgot. <laughs> that stuff is good. Look, Alki. Chin chin. Next yes. time. I forget my father-in-law loves this keto pizza too. He always wanted me to make it for him. I'm gonna give him some. I know he was looking at the car behind him. So he went closer to me, so I kind of swerved into the start. Now my husband did it. Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. What the hell? Okay, my dad wants to dip his buffalo boneless. See how they taste. Taste them. Go ahead. Mm. Spicy? A little bit. <laughs> Good. They're good? I've never made them, mm -hmm. so I was like, this is a trial run. Two chitlins mixed with almond flour. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty easy to make, honestly. Air fryer makes them so much better and easier. <laughs> I went ahead and tossed my mom's in the sauce, so you can go ahead and toss them if you like to as well. They smell really good, and they like them, so pretty easy to make. Okay, guys. I, this is my dinner. I got my salad and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this poppy seed dressing dairy free And this is going to be my dinner my first meal of the day. Actually. I haven't really ate. I've been busy today But I'll let y'all know how this dressing goes. All right guys. This poppy seed dressing is so good. Y'all definitely give it a try I really like it Look at my son Brando Wait, let me Whoa, look at you <laughs> Let me see your mask Look at me. You going into war or what? <laughs> I'm messing up his vibe. Mom. <laughs> Let me light it, okay, Brando? Oh, really? We're about to sing my baby happy birthday. He's seven. I'm going to cry. You good? Okay, Grandma's going to light it, okay? Watch out. Sienna, go call the boys. Tell them we're going to sing happy birthday. Byron, come sing happy birthday, my brother. Wow, the strawberry is really good. good. Oh, that's good. It's good. I like those. Ray, that's Ray's favorite snack to keep in the fridge. That's really good. Oh, <laughs> I dropped some. <laughs> hey, how's your ice cream? <laughs> yeah, they're right here. Mm. What are you eating, ma'am? That's Joel's. Oh. <laughs> is it good, baby? 
Yeah, you're over here enjoying that. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Can Say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Shady over there getting belly rubs. Say hi, Shady. Hey Shady. She's enjoying life over here. <laughs> Alright y'all, it is almost 12.30 at night. Everybody is asleep and went home. We had an awesome time. I had a great time cooking for my parents. My parents really enjoyed the pizza and they loved the wings and my father-in-law. They said they were really good. I had never made them before so that was really cool um, to make those and they enjoyed them. They looked really good. They looked nice and crispy. Of course, I couldn't try them because they weren't very free. Um, but they really enjoyed them. My son had an awesome birthday. He got his gifts and we have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. So I got to get to bed because it is already late. The day flew by. We were just talking and talking. We had a great time. Everybody had a great time catching up. But I really hope you all enjoyed this video on what I made for my parents for dinner. Something very simple, but so delicious. One of my parents' favorite. They absolutely love keto pizza. And my father-in-law, I forgot he loved keto pizza. I would always make it for him too when I used to live over there but next to them. And I forgot he really likes it too. But really awesome meals for y'all to enjoy. Make those boneless wings. They were really simple to make and they loved them. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the next one.